Go ahead, David. You need to unmute. David, you need to unmute. Good night, everyone. From Papua New Guinea, we are coming to you live in the city of Port Mosby, our capital city in TNG. And we have uh, listeners, our founders right around the country in the 22 provinces of Papua New Guinea. And uh, we want to welcome each and every one of you all over the globe. We have families, founder family members from 212, maybe 215 countries now globally. So you can see them on the panel. Thank you for being with us here tonight. Uh, it's some of you are early morning, some of you are during uh, in the afternoon. So good morning, good afternoon, and good evening from Papua New Guinea. I am David Bakau, the country leader here in Papua New Guinea, team leader, and uh, for On Passive. We are founders here, and we just want to uh, express our gratitude this evening. We say thank you to our CEO, Mr. Ash Mufare, and his uh, family, his wife, his children. We say thank you for sharing this business with us. And we want to appreciate them and say thank you very much, Ash, for all that that you have given to us. We know that Papua New Guinea will change because of on passive. And we have uh, close to 10,000 founders in Papua New Guinea. And I know that uh, as soon as the company launches its products into the world, each and every one of us here in PNG will be able to help our family members. So I wouldn't want to uh, uh, go on further. We will discuss these things, but I'd like to um, welcome our speakers here tonight. Uh, we have Red Redfern from UK. Thank you, Red. Uh, he's Mr. Q&A for Unpassive. He's one of our great leaders in the on passive global. Thank you, Red, you do so much for us. Thank you, Lynn Nakamoto for hosting the meeting for us. Thank you, you also a tireless leader. You work so much and you bring to us a lot of information through your network and connection. So we appreciate you very much. And we appreciate our family members right around the globe. Thank you for turning up to Papua New Guinea and uh, being with us, supporting us and uh, helping us along the way. So thank you everyone for attending here tonight and those who are doing the uh, work behind the scenes, we want to appreciate all of you. I say thank you to my uh, leaders here, Veronica is here, Nancy Yangavi is here. Um, I have Mary Caro, uh, we have Runa. Thank you all my leaders here in Papua New Guinea, you work tirelessly with me. We have come to the November, the first day of November. And uh, we know we can hear the rain pouring. It's coming, it's coming, as uh, Chris Johnson always says. So anyway, without further ado, I'll pass it on to Mr. Mati Digamo. Mati Digamo is my big brother. He's the one who introduced on passive to me back in 2019. Thank you, Mati. Take it over from here. Thank you very much. Hello, Papua New Guinea. Yes, we are about to enter a new phase of on passive that is going to blow us away. So make sure you have your seatbelts uh, fastened. Last Thursday, we had a meeting with Ash Mufara and the corporate team. We also got to meet O Media. If you did not see it and you have the opportunity, log into the back office and watch it. It was one of the most, if not most powerful meeting I've seen up to this point. Mr. Mufara has surrounded himself with the best of the best, which means the best of the best are leaving us. Everything they do is for us. And you can't get any better than what I saw last week, but guaranteed. I, it, I expect the best from Mr. Mufara, but when you yeah. see it, live, it's different. I'm going to turn it over to Red Redford. He's going to break down what actually happened last Thursday, and then we'll go from there. Anybody has any questions, especially we're here to update Papua New Guinea because uh, 
your brothers and sisters far away. We want to make sure you understand where we are and where we're going. And here's uh, Red Redford to uh, get us caught up. Thanks very much, Marty. Uh, first of all, uh, apologies if my internet's a little bit unstable today. Uh, we've got bad weather here today. Got a little bit of a storm coming through, so uh, it, it is buffering me slightly. Uh, but here we are again, Papua New Guinea. Hello to all my brothers and sisters over there. Great to see you all again. Love being here with my PNG family. It's always a pleasure to see you guys as well. So I'm here to update you uh, a week in on passive. Now, a week doesn't sound a lot, does it really? But wow, does a lot happen in one week in the world of on passive. So last week when I was on here, I gave you a update over the last sort of four to six weeks of where we are. And today I'm here to uh, break down what's happened in this week of on passive from when I spoke to you last, uh, last time. But it's safe to say, guys, that as Marty has said, today, 1st of November, we are entering a new phase and we shall get to that new phase uh, when I've given you the update. So uh, what has happened in a week? Well, obviously, I updated you. And on Monday of last week, we had our new website. And if you remember back to Monday of last week only, eight days ago. If you remember that website, it was of a bit of a white pink type of feel, if you remember back then. Okay. And I will get into why it was that color in a moment. But if you haven't noticed the graphics in the new websites, you've got to go and have a look, guys. They are now every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Okay. So, Roughly every 72 hours, we are getting a brand new website now, which is absolutely amazing. They have videos, they have uh, literature that goes over the top. We've got moving graphics. It's auto uh, navigation on it, which means that the screen goes up and down without you having to touch anything. It goes side to side. You can hover over things. But there's one part of the new websites that I want you all to take particular attention to. And that is the About Us section. When you go to armpassive.com, you look at the top, okay, and there's a tab that says About Us. Go and have a read of that. That is the best place, in my opinion, to send anybody to have a look at what on passive can do. Okay, it's all there done for you. Remember, we have said this so many times over the last four years. On passive is a totally automated done for you system. This is part of the done for you. Okay, they've written it there. You don't even have to say anything. All you have to do is point people. Say, go to onpassive.com and read the About Us section. This will give you a very good overview of what On Passive is, what On Passive is trying to achieve, and how they can get involved. Okay, so it's a really good uh, place to send people. So that happened on Monday. Also in the back office, if you log into there, there was a pop up at the time. Uh, saying about the websites, but also saying they have started revamping old websites that we had the links to. In particular, they started off with link number 69. And it is my understanding that they are going to start working through the old links and bringing these older websites up to date with how the new websites are all working. As we keep telling you, everybody, guys, there is always things happening in the backgrounds that we do not necessarily know about. This is just another example of that. 
Tuesday came and went. Uh, we didn't have too many updates on uh, Tuesday, except for we were told very late on Tuesday night that there was going to be a corporate webinar on Thursday. That is last Thursday, just gone, which is the 27th of October. And we started posting out all of the information about this Thursday meeting. Wednesday came. What happens on the Wednesday now? Yep. Another brand new website. Again, uh, had a white pink thing to it. OK, this is I'll tell you in a moment what that was for. And then also we had the on passive 360 as well, uh, which you guys can catch the uh, recording on on any of the YouTube channels that this is showing at the moment. Now, one of the changes that we saw for the corporate webinar was the time. Normally it is 2 p.m. Eastern, 3 p.m. Eastern when we have the corporate webinars. This one uh, was 12 noon, okay, a whole two, three hours beforehand. Now we were speculating on Tuesday and Wednesday and even Thursday morning to why this was. And we said, we presumed it was because uh, our CEO, Ashmi Farah, wanted the Hyderabad office and also the office in Dubai to be present at that meeting. So it wasn't too late for them in the evening. And we got confirmation of this when the link for the webinar was sent out uh, late Wednesday night, early Thursday morning. And it confirmed what we thought was correct. And sure as eggs is eggs, the Hyderabad office and Dubai office were there present. And then we had the meeting. Now, in my opinion, and it is just my opinion, it is the best webinar in nearly four and a half years I have had the privilege and, uh, to be part of. Why am I saying this? I'm saying it because over the last two weeks or so, the uh, webinars that we've been having, for me, they've been moving in a slightly different direction. We are showing ourselves as a business, a serious online business now. And the feel of the webinars are becoming much more business like. OK, and this Thursday, last Thursday, when we had the webinar, it certainly was a very good business meeting showing exactly what on passive is going to be doing so what happened in the meeting our ceo came on uh first of all he actually apologized to us uh for zoom not behaving as it should do and also for the price that they charged and he said, we are going to speak to Dubai and Hyderabad. And he said, on passive is a bit like giving birth. There is going to be growing pains, you know, and it's not necessarily all going to go according to plan. But he said, we are on target and we are moving forward exactly how we want to. He said, very soon, we are going to reveal the very best web conferencing service that the founders will have ever seen. And as a founder, you will have access to this first before everyone else. Now, I'm just gonna change uh, slightly. Over the last uh, 24 hours or so, uh, Ash has shared with some of us uh, some working videos of O Connect. And all I can say is you are going to be absolutely blown away with the features, the clarity, and so much stuff that is included in OConnect for the consumer. Now, in my opinion is all of the other media service providers that are out there at the moment, they are going to struggle when the general public see what OConnect can do. They are gonna be wowed by it. And we as founders, we get to use this first. And as our CEOs always said, all roads lead to Rome. What does that mean? It means 
It doesn't matter which way you look at on passive, they have to come through a founder to enter the ecosystem through a founder's referral link. So we know that it is the foundership that are going to benefit the best, greatest, okay, because of on passive. He then went on to introduce us to a new department. Now, I don't want to use the word de department, okay, but for now, that is going to be the title of it. And the department's name is called O Media. I was blown away by O Media. We were introduced to the heads of departments of O Media. Now, we are not talking small fry here, guys. We are talking about extremely intelligent, uh, well seasoned media people within the game. We are talking professors. We are talking people with PhDs. We are talking university lecturers. We are talking people that have had, have got over 30 years experience under their belt that have put this together and they are working for one cause. And that one cause is to present on passive to the world, not only through what they are going to do, but also all the other bits in between. Now, I'm going to get to that in a moment. The first thing is we were uh, introduced to a lady called Dr. Soha. Now, I'm not going to give the uh, surnames on here because this is an open forum. And to protect these guys, uh, it's better if we just give their first names. But anyway, she came on and she presented a short video of a breast cancer awareness that they are hosting over in Dubai. OK, and it gave everyone such a lot of inspiration. This is where we go back to the two um, on passive websites that I said were in a white and pink. This was to commemorate and to share the uh, knowledge to everyone of women's breast cancer. OK, and these guys were uh, doing this in the Dubai office. So kudos to all of you. And then we were introduced to the rest of the team. OK, um, it was just amazing, really. Uh, we were introduced to a lady called Professor Suzanne, and she told us she's the head of the O Media department. And she was telling us about the activities of what O Media is going to be doing. And this is on behalf of the on passive and also for us founders as well. It's very interesting how much these guys are going to do. They're going to be taking care of all global media, corporate communications, event management platforms, training departments, product and design videos, overseas corporate information, press releases. They're going to monitor competitors' media so that on passive is always aware of any competitors and what they are doing. Communicate the future as a slogan, okay, within on passive. Marketing and advert campaigns, social media management, radio commercials, TV ads, web content development and creation. They're also going to uh, have the main backing of Academy with the training videos. Remember, we have said from day one, every single product that we have will have a tutorial video that we can access. These guys are going to do this for us. They're also going to have a hand in live streaming, lead generation, on passive branding, graphic design in 3D and 4D illustration, and also including animation. There is also going to be a subdivision of O Media called O Production. Now, this is where they have a plethora of people 
who help to make the videos. So they will have talent management actors, short films, commercial production, videograph and photography, media equipment, rental. They'll be doing documentaries, TV productions, media planning and buying, and also gaming creation. If you remember on the last update I gave you, we told you that there is going to be a app called O Play. This is part of what the gaming creation we are talking about. They are also going to be in charge of Onjoy. This is a dedicated platform specifically for children with entertainment and education. They are also going to be there for O Women, a dedicated platform for women globally. And also a new one that we a new product that we hadn't heard of before called O University. This is planning to launch a global online university, and this is in progress as we uh, as we speak right now. Professor Susan then introduced her team, and we have Dr. Omar. He is the brand manager. Uh, Dr. Soha, who I spoke to you before, she's the corporate communications manager. So she's basically going to be the face of O Media. Uh, we've got Dr. Sarah, she's the brand manager. Uh, Mr. Uh, Ahmed, he's the corporate, the copywriter for all of the products and services of OnPassive. Uh, Dr. Moh uh, Mohammed, he's the arts and creative uh, creative manager. Boy, did he not disappoint as well when we heard him speak. Uh, Dr. Wissam, he's a PR, PR and event organizer. And also uh, Dr. Uh, Mr. Anas, he's the studio manager. He's the guy that when they are making the videos, he's the guy who runs the floor. So we were introduced to all these that then came on, introduced themselves and all of the rest of it. Uh, Dr. Mohammed Nassal, He's the guy, by the way, who came up with the idea and all of the visuals for what we saw on the Burj Khalifa. He completely blew me away of what he has got in plans for us, OK, and what he has got coming. He said, we have not seen anything yet. Now, I don't know what they've got in plan, but these guys were super excited to showcase what O Media can actually do. Uh, Ash also said that he's already seen the three videos that are going to be used in conjunction with the advertising campaign that's going to be running with the World Cup with BN Sports. And he said they are going to blow you away. The first uh, phase, which is with the first video, this is the branding and the concept of what On Passive is going to do. The second phase, is going to be introduction of the free products that we've been told about. And the last phase is going to be the third, pay, uh, the paid products. He said the quality and resolutions are extremely high and well above the average of the global stage. He said we are finalizing the voice overs with multiple languages for these as well. He said, Ash said, the understatement to say more is to come. Ash was absolutely blown away. The team is highly qualified, ethical, all working in a unified way. This team is very serious about what they do. And we are going to be attracting others who are like minded to the team. He said, we have at the moment three individuals and they have uh, these individuals all have their sub teams as well. Talent is incredible. He said, remember, the bigger the team, the bigger, the better the dream. And we have a very, very strong team at the moment. We then moved over to Hyderabad and then we were shown two of the free products, uh, which you know about, which was O-Net and O-Trim. And we were given a demonstration of 
of both of these and the themes behind them, the colour coordinations, what they are going to do, et cetera, et cetera. Some great, great features for ONET. You can create a video blog or a written blog directly from that page. You don't need to leave it. Uh, everything's done templated, just a few clicks. Absolutely amazing. They then gave us a um, demonstration of how OTRIM is going to work with all of the rest of them as well. So he said, Ash said to summarize where we were, he said, we are now going into the next stage. He said, by Monday, the pending founders positions will be finished. And as you can see this morning, that is it for pending founders. So now there is no way for anybody to become a founder in on passive. That door has now closed. So we now start moving into the next stage. We have been told today that there is going to be another corporate webinar on Thursday. It is our understanding that we are going to be shown the steps of what is going to be coming. OK, so that will be how we access the dashboards and then the second phase of how we're going to become uh, customers to purchase, et cetera. And then the initial to become uh, resellers of the products and services. So everything is just about there, guys. We really are now, 1st of November, starting the next phase of where we are going to be in on passive. What phase is it? It's the very exciting phase. Why? Because this is what we have all been waiting for. This is where we want to be. That progression from O founders to the OBS back off. This to start activating the accounts, to start seeing the products of on passive working in real time. Myself, Marty, and a few other leaders have seen the workings of O Connect in real time on video, how it actually works, what it is going to do. You are going to be amazed. Every single person whether you are a founder, whether you are a customer, they are going to take one look at this back office just as it is, without adding anything else to it, without putting more products into it, just as it is, they are going to be wowed. They are going to spend hours looking around it. Why? Because it is nothing like that I've ever seen before. It is nothing like another dashboard it is nothing like another website it is nothing like another company this is new it is fresh it is innovative it is going to blow their minds and how do they get there through one of you through a founder and what do you have to do to get them there very easy point say hey this is where I'm going to be now using this email. The company are going to give you a template that you can send to your contacts. If you're on Facebook now, I don't know how many friends you've got. Most people have got a minimum of 500 friends in their contact list. We are going to give you a template to say, hey, guys, I'm moving from Facebook to Onet. Come and see what it's all about. You put your link in there. They're going to follow you. And all of these people, when they come to you, they are part of your organization. And what have you done to get them there? Nothing. Put a post up, send an email. You don't have to talk to them. And they are going to follow. And that is when the company gets to work on your behalf to build your organization to sell them products and services. This is the beauty of on passive. This is what we have been waiting for. This is why I am so excited for the next phase. That's it for me, David and Lynn. Are you muted, David? 
Papua New Guinea, Minnesota, you play, you play Harum Tour. Woohoo! It's coming. Thank you, Red. You play Sleepo, you play Kirapo, Minnesota, you play November, yeah, November, pair up. Anyway, I'm just excited, Red. <laughs> Thank you. And, uh, you know, we've been working hard, we've been patient, we've been uh you know doing our bit sharing the business sharing on passive and this is where we are Papua New Guinea if you are new if you are a new founder here we welcome you on board just sit back relax and take the ride with us so I just want to encourage all our Papua New Guineans read me I'll just uh, translate a bit and then I'll come back to you Mati thank you um you play harem one of something red and me talk talk and me give him you me update so long last week previous week me play been got one play corporate or company uh webinar where ceo blow me come on top now me give him you me uh status quo you me say talk or some update long one m hub company come start you say company m start popular year now 2018 and me care up now come uh, me come in Chelo 2019, and me plus business come so me plus share him so. Suppose you play all Papua, all New Guinea, you plus stop one time meal on 2019 come, you say one em brought him come long em. Now you plus all new plus come, and me say you plus got plant, you ask him long, thinking blue plus so. Now I'm time blue plus ask him, now she don't harm that so. But me plus explain him. Red me explain him, plant is something come, development come. First time you me got all products, so you me talk talk long all uh, digital product, but now. Mm -hmm. Ready me talk to care, Mosem. He got Nupla department and me come. Nupla department where Bosman and me introduce him. Now, this la business now, and me come up with some of company now, Mosem. First time, me plus share him, and me plus talk to Kikama. But now, I'm Mosem, and me come up with some of professional business, and one plus information technology company. That's all you got all different sections, sections, stuff inside. Now he got one one all department head, but this la now you me got this la team where me come. Um all it call him was him O Media. O Media and um, all by look out him all got a something long. Uh, marketing, advertising, use him training, all videos, and um, you me say look him online, say talk talk long em law, side law, TV or radio, or and um, now say you me talk talk long this la uh, zoom or video. Conference, you may got all product by you meet by you meet him now. So sit down, uh, Hamamas, or some you stop inside or one plakine company. You know, so some suppose you know, plakam and Minosa, Loyta, so let me plak stop long time. I'm not plakine, Hamas, killing me plakinis. So Minna plus story to mass, be an immediate by talk talk long inside all group. Let me know, you mean share him lot of pissing. So me by uh, hand him over, go long, brother, blow me. Uh, uh, Mati, but uh, first I'll just uh, pass it on to Lin. Lin, you would like to uh, welcome Mati. Please go ahead. I also want to welcome both Marty as well as uh, Mike Ellis. So let's start with uh, Mike Ellis, if you don't mind. Go ahead, Mike. Good, ha good to have you here. Yeah, hi, Lin. How are you doing? Hi, everybody in Papua New Guinea. <clears throat> um, yeah, we're, we're, we're in a really, really exciting time right now. And, and uh, on, on Ash's last webinar, <clears throat> you know, my mind always goes to the, the founding members of Unpassive, those individuals that regardless of when you came in, where you're at and what's going to be happening in your life. And I, I know around the world, we, we have founders that can barely get on their computer. I mean, they're, they're just not computer literate, a lot like myself. And when you think about on passive and what they're going to be doing, uh, I didn't think on passive could do anything that would surprise me. And when Ash came on and introduced uh, the O Media team and the financial team, I started to realize that I, I really didn't know what Unpassive was and what Mr. Mufara had done and what that's going to do to the founding members. <clears throat> when, when, the, when the O Media people started to talk, 
I already knew about November. I already knew that uh, the advertising we we're going to be doing with the, the World Cup, uh, I, I understood that was going to be happening. But I didn't understand the quality that Ash and his team were bringing to the table. Now, I know that as we go into the, the World Cup, the, uh, the football matches, that we're going to get in front of 5.6 billion people. I believe probably 100 million of those individuals will come into the ecosystem of Unpassive. What does that do for each and every one of us? I, I can tell you guys, you don't have to worry about income. I, I mean, you don't have to worry about income. Mr. Mufar is going to take care of that, even though we can barely get on the computer. Okay. That's something you don't have to worry about. But, it, but it's so much bigger than that. When I started to listen to the media department, and Red talked about this a little bit, and the quality that they're bringing to the table, and then what's going to be happening after the soccer match. What's going to be happening after the football match is going to be bigger than what they do with the World Cup. Now, you, it's really, really hard to wrap your mind around that because the World Cup is going to be just, it's just going to be massive. What is that going to do for you? What is that going to do for your bottom line? What is that going to do for the founding members of Unpassive? But it's even bigger than that. <clears throat> uh, as they start to market around the world with whatever they're coming with, and on passive just starts to explode. We're going to have so many individuals coming in as resellers. Every time a reseller comes in, that benefits you and I. And I believe the amount of resellers that will be coming into on passive because of what Ash and his team is doing uh, is going to per, is going to surpass what we've done in the last three and a half four years as founding members. What does that do for you and I again? The founding members that are there, uh, income is just going to be something, you know, it's going to be so fun to watch that stuff start coming in. And there's going to get to a point where you don't even think about it anymore. It's, it's going to become rogue. It's going to be, it become something that's daily. It's going to become something that you're just, you look at and go, well, that's nice. Let's, let's move on with life. Uh, and, and I really do believe that, uh, that Mr. Mufar, what he's doing, it literally he blew me away last week. I don't know what he's going to do this week. I mean, I mean, this week you, you might have to revive me after he talks, uh, but we're in a great place. Uh, uh, Mr. Mufara is, is, is just knocking it out of the park park every day. Now I know he's working really, really hard after listening to the Omedia people, after listening to the finance people, that's really, really important because without the finances, we don't get paid. And I'm pretty sure he's got that under control without any problem whatsoever. Uh, we're there, guys. Uh, the next 10 days, this is Mike Ellis talking, the next 10 days, um, they're going to blow you away. Not only are they going to blow you away, but, but, but we're rocking and rolling now, guys. It's over. It's, it's a done deal, and we're moving forward. So that's it, David, just very, very quickly. Lynn, back to you. Thank you. David, did you want to try, do some translation right there? Okay. Thank you. No, I'll let that to uh, Nancy. Nancy, can you uh, translate what Mike said? <laughs> oh my goodness! I don't know you guys, but me, man, I am, I am, I don't know, I don't know. This is a November to remember. You know, guys, sorry, I'm going to talk a little bit slow because we've moved houses and I'm at a new place. So I'm just going to try to control my excitement. But man, oh my God, I'm just, I don't know what to say. Papua New Guinea, I don't know what to say. 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 You think him, you know me, I don't know. I don't know the internet. I don't know the internet. Internet business, na information technology. I want something. 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 I I am missing on a meeting in this last week. Yeah, please. Me and me, Pilim, me, Pilim, or Sam, 
me just pili mo sa me sablo antap through me looking one me a pick sablo volcano pyra pia only put him the background lo this la webinar a pick sablo volcano pyra pia so me not think all sabi lo all white man me not think all understand him this la volcano you mean a me me come lo kimbe ya you pla every day so guria sa come up guria ya em sa come up em sa talk him you sample something na time you look at sumuk you saw a eruption and plus two penis. Let me talk about that, Loipla. Now, yeah, Lord, this la day, yeah, please. Me just had to lo contain him. Me had to contain him, this la mama, sia. Arim, Papa Nigini, you na me, yeah. Me tla salo one black and place where you must, hama masa, you must talk, thank you, Sam. Narpla man ba ha poklo you, yeah, you think him. Narpla man ba ha poklo you. You me come long pla rot pini say me me talk yeah you hot talk man hot talk Mary you know time blue lo sit down time blue lo stand up na sam sam na sing out na this la webinar webinar blue you me ah no can waste him ask him all the question you like ask him now you ask him please like him you plan of pubs dead me losing can go back la hand blue me need lo control him yet thank you please thank you straight me and please be hard lo talk talk yeah me la sing out na me la big boss that's all daddy all right you kiss him now thank you. I love it. Thank I may you. not know occasion, but I know that enthusiasm and fire that comes from our own Nancy. Thank you so much. I love it. Love it, David. You picked a good interpreter. All right. Next, we go on to Marty DeGarmo. Come on down, Marty. Yeah, I have no idea what Nancy said, but I want to sign up again, you know? So she always fires everybody up around the world. Even Ash. Ash will say, Let's get this fired up. Grab Nancy <laughs> on our corporate webinar. Um, what what blew me away, one of the things that blew me away the most is a few weeks ago, Ash had told me about Omedia, and he said that he had met with them, and he said that he was blown away. And I'm thinking, how do you blow away Ash Mufara, right? I mean, is, is that possible? And then... Uh, when he introduced us, you know, I believe the best from Ashley Fora anyway. I expect it. But when you see it live, like we did Thursday, and they were talking and you hear what they're saying, and the one the one marketer guy at the end, when Ash called him crazy, you know we're in for a ride of our life, okay? You know that if Ash McFarr called somebody else a crazy marketer, you know we're going to outer space and we're going where nobody's gone before. That's for sure. And this guy wasn't... The one thing I said, he said, none of these people that joined us needed a job. They don't need a job. They can go anywhere they want to go, name the price they want, and, and do whatever they want. They have the credentials. They are the best of the best. And where did they go? They went to Unpass him. Why? Because they want to be part of history. You can work at any company. You can work at any factory. But when can you get a chance or have the chance to be part of history? And trust me, if you don't know it, wake up and smell the roses. You are all part of history. Something you've never, ever happened before or you'll ever see again. That's fact. There's no hype here. I'm gonna that is fact. We are all part of history. And if you think you've seen something now, wait, the more they unveil, listen, get your heart checked out. I told him I don't know if I can see anymore, but we're gonna see more and more and more. He's got stuff that we don't even know. Can you imagine what we know? But the, the stuff we don't know is a thousand times bigger. Wrap your head around that. At Papua New Guinea, you're going to see the biggest impact because you got the farthest to come. You're going to see the biggest impact, and I love it. I love it. 500, 1,000, 10,000, 20,000. You start throwing that in people that have, are family-oriented. You throw it in a country that's family-oriented and add 1 million, 2 million, 10 million, 50 million, what's going to happen? And we're going to all be able to see that. History will be made in Papua New Guinea, too. So that's all I have right now. But yeah, be ready. You haven't seen nothing yet. 
Thank you, Marty. And we'll take it now to Nancy to interpret, please. Nancy Yangabi. Are you free to interpret, Nancy? Maybe I should leave it to somebody. I'm just, I am really blown away. And I'll leave it to uh, Mr. Bacow to do that, please. It's zero hours. Thank you, Marty. Ah, uh, it's hard to talk. Every one of us, uh, I don't know, we're emotional and we are excited. Uh, Mati, M. Tok Tok Long, Yumi Long. You say, S. Time S. M. Call him one plus one crazy. M. Crazy marketer now. Said Ken and by Bruce him S. S. M. One plus top marketer. Yeah. Now M. Tok Tok M. This the last man M. Been come lo last week. M. Tok Tok Lo. Me plus M. One plus marketer. So. As he called him crazy. So time and talk, yeah, Mati describe him and talk of him. Yumi by non up sarala. One him something by come hit him Yumi. Arem. Papa New Guinea or some Mati talk care. Yumi by change. And true plato. Yumi by change because Yumi and family oriented. And then Mati talk talk yeah. Culture blue Yumi, Yumi says stop on them now. Kaka want them. And that's really true, Mati, because what I see is what is going to come, it's going to come directly to the household. It is not going to go through a corporate company and uh, the government will collect tax there and, uh, and then it will trickle down. That's been happening in the last 47 years. But as from tomorrow, it's going to be different because the income will go directly to the household and the families are gonna feel the impact of that. That is what we are so emotional about. And it will give them the spending power. And that will generate the economy activity in the rural communities. We have seen that in our country. We are exporters of raw products. And when we had the vanilla crop introduced into our country, I come from the province that we are the suppliers of vanilla into the world. We are the highest suppliers in our, in our province, the East Pacific province. Nancy is from that province. I think uh, they will uh, attest to that. When the price was sitting up there in uh, around 2000, in, year, in the year 2000, that crop was producing close to 400 US dollars per kilo. And that is a lot of money because we sell cocoa and coffee, we get one kina 50 or two kina. It's like 50 cents US dollars. But you're talking about a kilo and a 400 US dollars kilo. That's a lot of money. And when that came to the household of the families, it just blew them away. They couldn't control themselves. So uh, I am already telling my founders, we have to have a lot of training, financial literacy training to help our founders to manage the money that is gonna come into their hands and help them to live and enjoy that blessing rather than destroy them. So it is gonna have a direct impact and the country will change. The government will get the revenue it's gonna get through the taxes. And I have just run some figures and it's, it's crazy. So we are discussing our leaders are meeting and we are talking about how we can manage and help our founders to manage themselves when these things happen. Thank you. I just want to uh, leave the floor open to uh, some of our leaders. You can talk. I see uh, Oliver and uh, Collins. Thank you for joining us. Um, you can, Lynn, you can uh, introduce them and they can come in and talk. Uh, 
uh, we'd like to welcome our OTEC pros, Collins Mana and Oliver Fonte to the house. And if you're free, we would like to have Oliver begin and say a few words, possibly. Are you free, Oliver? Yes. Uh, hi, my brothers and sister from PNG. Love you guys. And as a founder, I we'll love you all. And we are all brothers and sisters. Um, I want to thank Red, Maddie, Mike Ellis. I listened to your to your YouTube this morning. It was, you know, Nancy. I can understand where you're coming, crying. You know, these tears of joy. Tears of joy. I, I'm also like you. I'm also like you that my country of origin, Africa, Cameroon. I'm already seeing, we have more than 20,000 founders there. I'm already seeing how we are going to be blessed. And uh, a, a country also with a lot of raw materials, but we don't have the end product. I'm going to see like PNG, Cameroon is also going to be, you know, do the finish from, from the farm to the finished products, local consumption and foreign consumption. That is what I'm seeing that is going to happen with the more than 20,000 that I know on passive founders from Cameroon. And I know PNG, same is going to happen. I want to first thank Mr. Ash Mufara and the tech teams in Hyderabad, in Dubai. The blue, I was blown off. My mind was like off the hook on Thursday. Seeing the team that our CEO has put together. At least we all hear all the time about Hyderabad. We didn't know about Dubai. We didn't know about Dubai. And now Dubai has been, you know, uh, and again, also, the numbers of years being in the tech industry for more than 20, getting to 24 years. The, the, the time, the time that the CEO and the tech guys, they took to come out with this many products that is going to the market is in fact unspeakable. Working in the industry that um, we just automate simple products. We just take a product to do just to do the automation without AI. It takes us about six months to one year plus. These are the facts. And now we have less than five years with this many products that is going, that they're sending out to the public. We are lucky and we are fine. We are in a better place. We can't be proud. Today, no more founder position. None. None. Nobody comes to Unpassive without coming through us, the founders. This is big. Like um, my brother David just talked about that. They've been crushing numbers. Listen to Mike Ellis also, Madi, with all the time on Sundays we are with Madi. Then um, when Mike Ellis also talked about some numbers, my mind is 100 million customers only for World Cup. I'm like, well, you put those numbers, you cannot sleep. You cannot sleep. You cannot sleep. And when we talk and when the CEO talk about filling your tongue, I'm seeing us to fill our tongue in less than three months. Even an account with zero team. I don't want to go into number because I'm not a number person, but my, the little that I know, our community is going to be fine. Our community is going to be fine. PNG, we are fine because we have products that is going to come. We have O Connect that is coming, OPA that is coming, the WhatsApp the zero interruption or connectivity is going to be perfect. On passive is what we all need today and the rest of the world. Perfect timing also that we are going to work up. This is big. Perfect timing. How many how many customers are going to come? Like Mike Ellis said, 100 million. It's going to be more. I think so. That's my own. It's going to be more because 5 million people will watch World Cup. In my country alone, that is my country, Cameroon, my country of origin, Cameroon, is going to work up. Already when I'm seeing the preparation that people are so excited in Cameroon, they're so excited in Cameroon with the dresses. 
I saw one other thing, Masia is here. Masia told me, and I went and saw it, that is true, that they've, they've, they've come out with, with World Cup T-shirt, World Cup T-shirt with unpassive logo there. I need one. This is the excitement. In every 10 houses or five houses in Cameroon, four houses will watch World Cup out of the five. In the bars, people will put big screen. People go to that bar and watch World Cup because Cameroon is part of World Cup. Cameroon is participating. We are playing among the 64 countries. So tell me how many people will not use oh, may the free products, oh, may oh, net. Tell me. You know, so we are in a very good position. I want to say PNG, we are fine and we should continue to pray for our CEO and our tech guys and Dubai also. The, 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 market, the marketers in Dubai, the, our finance department, Mohammed Kamal forgot to give them that wisdom and the energy to lead us through infinito. Thank you. Thank you, Oliver. The world would not be the same now that Unpassive is in the picture. Next, we go on to Collins Mana, who is part of the OTEC Pros. Good to have you here, Collins. And thank you, Lynn. Thank you, David, for organizing this perfect time. It's just that I'm on holiday, so I decided to join. You know, when you said I was just lying down, I said, oh, what is going on now? And I saw it, I said, oh, it's a good time to join. <laughs> so, yeah, I just listened to Madi, um, Mike Ellis, and Red. That was really, really amazing. And, you know, Nancy, I feel your pain, you know, the joy. You know, the joy of being in something really massive like this, you know. This is history, as, as Madi said. Those people, you know, the, the old media team, they don't really need anything. Not amount of money can persuade them, but because they want to be part of history. That's why they are in unpassive. You know, we are talking about apples, the apples that will come in. But sometimes I don't really want to go into the apple. I want to look at myself being in something big. You know, we are about as founders to write history. And this is what always comes in my mind. Just imagine 1.4 million. Maybe we are even less when they'll clean up all those the, the depending founder and we see the total number walking on the street and people are jubilating, shouting because they've seen something big, O Connect, Opal, all of those products. Because they are using it all net and they'll be talking about it. And you as a founder, you know, stand behind and watching them, seeing people going crazy for things that part of the, most of the product, you were part of it, you know. Money cannot buy that joy because I've been in, you know, being in the industry, building software, you know, where the software is being used by others. I've been in a place where they use software, not only being looking at the software, being there from scratch till finish and the customers are using it and they say, wow, this software is really good. And I know I was part of it making decision. That joy, that fulfillment, that is what I see that my God, so I'm, I've been part of something that is massive. And this is the type of joy, you know, I want to see in all the founders that you are writing history, making, writing a new story. Mr. Ash before have brought us in to write a new history, being part of beta testing, you know, looking at all mail, looking at all connect, talking about it, looking at the wrinkles, reporting it back, feeling it back to Mr. Ash Mufara and the, you know, we're moving from strength and tomorrow, 5.5 billion users, customers who use that software. You have right history. You've put your mark on all mail. You've put your mark on all net. You've put your mark on all decks. You know, you are part of that history. I am part of that history. That is my joy. You know, no money, no amount of money can buy that feeling. No amount of money. That's why, you know, most of, most of the time, Mari Digamo said, if you are not part of the history, you miss something. Right, I've said it. You've missed something. You know, you're getting the apples, but you are not plugging in because you are not part of the history. I think Mike, Mike Ellis have said that. This is the joy. Those who came 2018 or 2019, they saw it from scratch. And some of us who came, we saw it, you know, the way this, the company have grown from strength to strength. That is the fulfillment. And that's the only joy I can, I will take and I will die with it. Because that's the only thing I can take to my grave and say, yes, I was part of it. I saw it. Just imagine sometimes we walk along the London Bridge and you see all the, you know, the, the, the stone wall 
and you, you see all the names of those people who, who build the stone, you know, their name, their children, children. We say, my great, great grandfather was part of that. They build this wall. This is what we are doing. We are writing history. You know, we are putting our mark, our stamp, our footprint, where nobody can take it from. Nancy, nobody can take that from you. Nobody can take it from me because I am part of the history. Mr. Ash Mufara gave us that opportunity to be part of it, to write our own story, where people will ask you, Nancy, colleagues, tell me, I know you were there. Maybe at that time, 90, and I will say, yes, they will be interviewing me. Maybe they will come and interview me, interview some of you. Say, tell us how it started. And you will tell on passive story. The only story will be on passive story. That is something massive. We can talk about the product, we can talk about the integration, but this is the story and this is the feeling I want all of us today to go with it. Start to think that you will be interviewed one day because you made history. So I will leave it there, Antilene. Thank you very much. Thank you for that very powerful presentation. And we're all excited uh, in this webinar, just from all the presentations that have been made so far. Right now, we're gonna to go to the Q&A, the question and answer session. And what these are the guidelines that we have for you today. First of all, this is a PNG webinar and the focus is on the PNG founders and those who have questions or comments to make. So we ask that you respect that. So we are gonna be calling on the PNG people uh, to, to do the Q&A, all right? So we're asking for their hands to be raised. Uh, international community, we do love you and we appreciate you for being here. But remember, the PNG webinar was created to meet the needs of the PNG people. Thank you so much. So we'll take our, uh, take it to the Q and A now. Please raise your hands and let's stay on topic. What's uh, what we don't want to have is any support type questions because those are not appropriate for this session. Okay, so non-support questions we welcome as well as comments so go for it and raise your hands uh, david can you go ahead and interpret that or nancy okay uh i think uh dr michael doku you you on you can uh, unmute and you can make your uh who is dr that? michael uh, doku panelist yeah he's on the panel um michael doko okay michael doko sure. yeah got it is it you can unmute yourself doctor hello. anytime hello 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 Lynn. how are you hello welcome oh can you hear me yes we can hear you okay good <clears throat> okay thank you very much uh, this one was best time to be on time on a panel like this, and I really appreciate the invitation from uh, my leader, David Bakao, and of course, Veronica and Nancy and the team. Okay, uh, I'm, a, I'm a doctor by profession. Uh, my specialty is ear, nose, and throat. So I operate uh, people with, you know, disease of the nose, the throat, and the ears uh, to help them out. So this, this is my job. Uh, I joined on passive last year. Uh, two of my nurses introduced me to Old Passive, and uh, when I joined, then it was the first time I met uh, Mr. Baga, who sort of uh, convinced me that uh, this is a good uh, viable company that you should uh, join up and become the founder, and uh, and the position now. So I'm happy that I've been a part of it, and uh, this is uh, wonderful, one of the most wonderful uh, things that has happened to to us in this country. Um, <laughs> Every time I recognize all of you, all of you international leaders, Matty, uh, Red, Mike Ellis, um, all the others who have been very, very, you know, supportive in the webinars. I've been watching them all the time and uh, um, sort of picking it up. I'm not very good with IT. IT is a little bit uh, like foreign to me, but I do appreciate the, the some of the things that have been said on this one. Now, <coughs> I have, I have a few questions here about four of them that um, I'd like to ask, and I, I would appreciate some answers uh, if they can uh, just, uh, just give us some answers on how we do it. Uh, the first question is about Omail. 
I think it's very, at least a silly one. When would it be appropriate to change our current email addresses to OME? Uh, that, that is, do I go through all the, all the questions and someone can answer it? It's only four. Um, so like number one, all mail, the product all mail, uh, when would it be appropriate for us to change our current email addresses to all mail? Uh, my second question is about the apps. Now in, in Google, I know that we see a lot of apps. Uh, apps make it easier and user friendly. And sometimes it makes us become addictive to internet servers. Um, I'm just wondering, do we have apps in our in in on passive? Uh, and the the third question is: Are there any certain criteria specific to each country when accessing Oblast? Are there any certain criteria specific for each country when accessing Oblast? And number four is, should each country develop their own protocols in accessing OBLES? I'm asking these questions because, because we have issues of transparency and accountability in my country, SPNG. So this is a question I thought the uh, professor can take into account. Um, and these are, these, are the, these are the questions that I'm sort of uh, putting it on. So I hope uh, someone, someone, thank someone, you. maybe a domestic or a interest of families can answer that. Thank you. So thank you very much. Uh, Nancy, did you want to um, interpret that? Lynn, I think uh, we, we can let the, let the, our panelists some of our leaders can <laughs> respond uh, okay. or respond to doctor, and then later we can good. translate that. <clears throat> right. Who wants to take uh, any I'll, 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 I'll start with O-Mail, and then I'll hand it over to Red, Lynn. Okay. Um, yeah, the, the appropriate time to come into O-Mail is when we launch. Uh, when we launch and we have access to the, the, the full O-Mail that's coming, uh, I'll, I'll take everything over to O-Mail. That's all I will use is O-Mail. And I will tell my list that this is what I'm doing. I'll tell them the reasons why I'm doing it. And, and I think because of the reasons, it will, it will entice them to come over and look at O-Mail and start to use O-Mail. So O-Mail, as soon as we do the product launch of the global market, uh, I'm in O-Mail. I think everybody should be. Red, go ahead. If you can remember the other two questions. Yeah, I can. Yeah. OK, so here's an interesting one as far as uh, sending out the invite to O-Mail is concerned. This is what I recommend for people to do. As Mike says, yep, we are going to be using O-Mail from the offset. But to make your life easier, you should send out the invite to your list from your existing mail, okay? And the reason I'm saying this is because if you send the invite from O-Mail, it means you have to import all of those mails, your existing address book into O-Mail first to send them out. If you send the invite to all of your address book from your existing email, when they click your link and they come into O-Mail, they are instantly part of your organization. And you know that they are in O-Mail because they have joined on passive as a customer. Otherwise, if you import your address book into O-Mail, you don't know who is part of your organization, who's clicked on your link without going into the analytics of the back office. So that's how I'm going to do it. I'm going to use the templates that are going to be available to us from on passive via the O-Mail platform. I'm going to take that uh, template. I am going to send it to all of my list 
But initially, I'm going to send it from my existing Gmail account to my whole address book. Then when they come into Omail, I know that they have come in through that link and then they are part of my organization. Question number two, apps. Yes, is the answer. OK, there is going to be apps for many of our products. But remember, guys, we're just starting. OK, we are uh, just just coming out the gate. OK, so do not expect uh, to be able to go into Google Play or the Apple iStore and uh, download various apps for the products and services of on passive. Is it going to be there? Yes, it is. Now, I don't know how good your memory is, Michael, or how long you have been a founder, but probably this about nine months ago, 10 months ago or more, our CEO told us that all of our products had to be revisited by the programmers, the coders, so that they had to put more code into every single product so that we can switch over automatically and make them into an app so that we can use it via there. He did that 10 months ago, plus maybe, I can't remember when it was. So is apps gonna be available? Yes, they are. And to your last question about Academy, uh, Obless, sorry. Is there gonna be international rules? There will be international rules for access for some of the products and services. What they're gonna be, we don't know. How it's gonna work, we don't know. But one thing we do know as far as Obless is concerned is they will only be allowed onto the Obless platform once that, uh, pro once that uh, thing has been vetted. And what do I mean by that is there is a designated team who are going to look at every application for Obless to make sure that it is uh, above board, it's legitimate, it's for a good reason, and it's not somebody trying to extort money out of people for anything that's not there. There is going to be a process, okay, to make sure that is it is for the right reasons. So I hope that's answered some of your questions. I'll put it back to the floor and people can add in. Hi, David. Are we just do we continue? Just proceed with the next question or how do you want to do this? I think I think Michael's satisfied. Is that uh, correct, Doctor? Okay. Hey, uh, Glenn, let me add just a little bit, okay? Everybody that, that has an email account, when this is launched to the world, like Red and Mike said, what you would do is you would write people on your contact and say, listen, this is Marty DeGarmo. I will no longer be using this account. Here's why. Security. What are all the stuff you want to name? If you want to contact me from now on, I will be here and give them your uh, Omail account. At that point, they're going to go, well, I want the same thing. How do I get it? Boom. They're on your, they're on your team for life. Now, they're free, but any time in the history, if they buy anything, you'll get a commission. Use it that way so they know why you did it. Same thing with any else, anything else that's free. Tell them where you're going and why you went. Don't tell them to go. You tell them why you went. Because if you tell them why you went, they're going to go, well, can I do it? Now, if you ask them to do it, they probably won't. I know it sounds crazy, but you want to make it where I went because of this. I did this because of this. And they're going to go, hmm, well, why can't I do it? Well, I guess you can. And then you'll have everybody follow you, like Red and Mike said. That's all. I just wanted to add that a little bit. That was a great addition. Thank you. Thank all right. you. David, you want to um, continue with the speakers, or is there any translation yet, or what do you want to do? No, that that's fine. I think uh, uh, we will discuss in the in our own uh, settings. All right. I All right. think uh, Doctor has uh, has uh, been uh, quietly satisfied with what what uh, answers are. So carry on. Awesome. All right. So next we have Nancy Yangavi. Thank you, Lynn. 
Yes, it's really wonderful. I mean, I'll try to contain my joy. Um, thank you, everyone. First of all, thank you to uh, Mr. Red uh, for the wonderful recap and updating us. Whew. And I also want to thank our godfather, Mr. Mati Digamo, for always having our back. We've come a long way. And we're about to score a goal. We are right there. And I just want to say thank I want to take this opportunity to, to, I'm so excited. I was really excited all day today when I saw the pending, um, we couldn't transfer anymore. You know, the pending thing is gone. I was just over the moon because I'm thinking this is it. This is it, people. This is it, PNG. And like what, what others have said and Collins and, you know, when we started out with on passive, a lot of people were telling us that you guys are, you know, you're out of your mind. How can you speak like that? Like you have no, no education, no background there. You know, they're gonna trick you. They're gonna lie to you. They're gonna just there to get your money. And we kept pushing and we kept pushing. And all of you know, most of you who are here, here on this webinar today, you came to our webinar, you saw our passion, you saw our desire. We were crying, literally crying out for our people and our country. And we want, actually we, we never pay attention to the naysayers and, you know, people were telling us we're really crazy because, and we were crazy. We were crazy for our nation. We're not crazy for, for ourselves. That's, that's the truth. That's the truth. We were not crazy for ourselves and our own families and how they're going to live. No, we were crazy for our country because we see that our country is so rich, so blessed with natural resources. I mean, PNG is really, really blessed. But yet, there is no show, there is no proof of our, you know, our citizens, our, our, the population of the country. We're still living below. The, the living standard is very low. Poverty is very, you know, ripe. And all kinds of things that are stopping us and blocking us from our destiny and going forward and enjoying the blessings that God has blessed us with in our nation. And when we started, that's why I'm really emotional because when we started, we got all the, you know, the thunder, the rain, the fire. We went through all kinds of seasons but yet we stood tall, even though we did not understand fully everything that was going on, but inside of us, as long as we hear from Mati Digamo and Mike Ellis and Mr. Ash Mofara, we just hold our faith on their words. Literally, that was what we did. We held on to their words. We did not buy into the you know, the negativity that was coming from our fellow countrymen and even the educated elite, because when you look at us PNG, a lot of our, our founders, um, we are not really, really, you know, in terms of technology and all this stuff, we are not really there. And so I just want to say thank you so much to all our Papua New Guinean founders. The mothers that, um, you know, the street sellers, the mothers that have zero education, that spread the word right across the country, those in the villages, um, our late powerful leader, the late Mr. Fred Lavaki, and our mother. Mrs. Susan Bakao, they just sold their life out for this nation. And today, we're already here. And we're gonna put our legs, we're gonna put our feet into that door. We're gonna make a decision. And I just want to say on this webinar to every Papua New Guinean founders, from the educated elites 
to the simple, don't care, maybe naive founders on the streets that just said, hey, on Passive is here, come join us. And there you go, somebody on the street decided to join. For the educated elites, you know, some of their friends made fun of them and say, and you know, you're not satisfied with your job, you have a good job and you, you know, you have life already. What's this on Passive about? But they kept pushing and they kept sharing. And like what you all said, what is gonna come into a nation? It's not gonna go into the big purse, it's gonna go into the small people. And just like Mr. Mufara always say, it's the small people that are gonna lift up humanity, that are gonna bring change, not because we're gonna do it, but we have a company that's gonna do it for us. We have professionals. I like what um, it was Collins who said, I, I used to get mixed up with the names of the uh, tech pro, but it was one of them that said that, you know, these people from the old media team in Dubai, they didn't come because they want money. They didn't come because they want some kind of fame, but they want to make history. And this is our word, Papua New Guinea. We, we did not join on passive because we want to be recognized as leaders. We did not come here. We did not run the webinars because we want to be recognized. We want Mr. Mufara to see us and how good we are and how crazy we are. No, we came because we want to see our nation, our nation change. We want to take back, literally take back our country. We wanna take back resources. We wanna take back businesses that, are, that literally belong to our country and our generations. Um, you know, those who have gone ahead of us, they have literally sold our nation uh, out, our wealth, the wealth of our nation, but we're going to take it back with on passive. And we're just, uh, we're just here. Papua New Guinea is at the front. We're right in the front. We're at the gate. When the door opens, PNG will be the first inside. And so I'm so grateful that simple people, I'm going to change our nation. So is every one of you in your own nation. So today in this webinar, I just want to send out my heartfelt gratitude to Mr. David Baka, our country leader. Love the Soisha. He's a very loving man. He's my dad. I call him dad because we came a long way. And it was unfortunate that our mom left us. But we're so grateful that she's happy that this day has arrived. And by the way, for me, I have not celebrated birthdays. I've, I don't celebrate my birthday. I've, it's not a big deal to me. I guess I think it's a, with a lot of Papua New Guineans, celebrating birthdays is not really big. And I have never celebrated a birthday for myself. And my birthday is on the 8th of November. And guess what? This is going to be the biggest, the bestest, the greatest, all the testers, whatever you name it, is going to be for my life. I'm going to celebrate my birthday with myself, Mr. I, myself, and <laughs> me. I'm going to have fun. It's going to be the biggest. It's that November to remember, and it's going to go down to the history of my personal life. <sighs> I better cut a cake for myself. And if you want to join me, come to PNG. Love you all. Thank you so much. Once again, I just want to send out my gratitude to Miss Veronica Wang and to all my powerful leaders in On Passive Rockets. Our group, my group is called On Passive Rockets. That's why, you know, the way we talk, we go like rockets. <laughs> Just kidding. But yes, thank you to all my powerful leaders. It's the ladies who caught the fire of On Passive and sent it everywhere to the four corners of this nation. And I'm so grateful my heart goes out to all my Papua New Guinean girls and ladies and mothers and aunties. Thank you so much for getting that fire out. And we are here. We are about to score the goal. We are right there. Thank you, Lynn, back to you. Thank you, Nancy. And I guess your middle name should be Fire, Fire, Fire. You remind me of Mohammed Kamal, always enthusiastic and excited 
really contagious. Thank you so much. All right, now we go on to, oh, we had Veronica with her hand up for a bit. Veronica, did you want to take the floor? Hold on one minute, Veronica. I think she got knocked out. She might be. She's here. Mm -hmm. She's here, okay. Veronica, do you want to take the floor? Thank you. Thank you, Lynn. Thank you, David. Um, good evening, everyone. Marty, Red, Mike Ellis, Olivia, uh, Collins, thank you. Thank you for coming to our evening and sharing uh, the latest updates and, and firing up everyone's engine room. Um, wow, what can I say? November is a month for us to remember. That's definitely. Nancy will celebrate a birthday and so will David. We've got two birthdays going on in, in November. <laughs> in the first week, David on the third and Nancy on the eighth. So I think we'll cut a um, cake at the leaders meeting this Sunday. Oh man, what can I say? It's just, um, it's been quite a journey. I mean, to think what we have been blessed with. I think everything I wanted to say, uh, Nancy and uh, David have said, but on passive will bless our nation in, in so many, so many areas and in, in so many levels and impact our people's lives in so many dimensions. And that was, I actually wanted to make a, a add on, add on, add a comment on to what um, Dr. Michael Dokup was saying about OBLES. Um, the leaders, at the leaders meeting we had last, uh, two weeks ago, we did discuss that. And so we have discussed the structure and how we're going to go about addressing it within PNG. Um, we will, we will discuss it this, this weekend and then, um, we will come, come out to, we will go out to the rest of the founders in the country once the leaders have, um, we formulated a plan and, a, and we agree on, on the structure and the, and the pathway to take. So we have discussed it and we are also, um, uh, we, are, we are going to deal with it. Um, uh, apart from that, we've, We've also got other things that we've discussed to as well, which we will get to the founders um, by next week. So I'll just go and talk this in. Me like talks on the all founders blame me for PNG or some leadership meeting. Me have been got last two weeks ago. Me have been talk talk like like this la or concern blame me or bless. But you got one plus structure na. I'm a former association, uh, um, M, M, all, all this law, law structure, me plan to talk finish, but me plan set him in place. Now, behind, awesome, you got all founders, law, one, one province, two, now, sample law group, all been set him up, all associations, long, all, so this law, all associations, but you plan affiliate come inside long, overall, awesome body, general body, by me, now, by me, go forward, law, straight him. By me go forward, lo stretim ma obles na how by me working on project inside lo country. Yeah, so you plug it as our you make this like big block concern ah. You make a big block concern lo time you miss actually money na how you miss a use him na all this la. I'm also because you miss up lo just like in um uh forum. But by me not talk talk plenty lo this la. But concern by me you you make all get that you miss our finish lo kind person. So this la me plan addressing finish so. By people not can thinking plenty, I'm people ready now. By me talks away. Now you me set him up guidance now rules. By me because long on on passive lo all blessed platform long am yet. Now by me at lo inside lo PNG too. How by me screw room this lago inside now. You me go underneath now you me walk one time. And by me talk talk lo this lago too. So and me la making clear awesome. So uh, suppose you plot plenty got some la thinking or like talk talk lo this lago. 
ba yung milusim na ba yung miet yung mitok tok long biting blue yung miet um i think david if you wanted to add anything then you could but that's really what i wanted to add in relation to to that thank you vero and you've said it so we leave it at that then uh, mm -hmm. lynn you can ask uh, uh another yeah. anybody sure. else very finish up thank, thank you, you very thank you very much all right now we go on to we have mary carol in the house and mary can go ahead and unmute good to have you here mary you can unmute Mary, are you available to speak now? Maybe she's away from her device at this time. Let us go on to Michael Dokop. Go ahead. No, she's coming Michael. up. Oh, she coming? Hello? Lynn, can you hear me? Yes, we can Am hear Am I you. audible? It's yes, fine. yes. Okay, thank you, Lynn. Um, thank you, David. Um, Nancy, Veronica, Nancy, you stop doing that. The moment you go emotional, we will follow you. Uh, Marty Digamo, thank you. Mike Ellis, good to have you here. And of course, Red Redfern and all our brothers and sisters uh, across the world, Bruce, Good evening, John Barilla. Uh, it's really nice to have you with us. And David Schweitzer. Um, yeah, excitement is in the air. Um, we've taken a very, very long journey, but it's been educational for some of us. Um, for me personally, I have enjoyed uh, being on webinars and have enjoyed listening to many of you, the OTEC Pro team, Oliver Fonte, thank you for coming. And uh, I think it was Wilson. Yeah, thank you for coming. Um, you've brought us uh, education, patience. Uh, initially, when I first got in, it was about the money. And then that disappeared soon afterwards uh, to learn that there is more to life than money. And the friendship that we have created far and wide across 212 countries and also the leadership that we have in this very unique man named Ash Mufara. What an experience. Uh, it was really, really um, humbling to know that we have the greatest um, expertise that are working on our behalf, that are going to bring us a lot of good things. And I speak for Papua New Guinea, like my other uh, fellow founders. Um, Mike Ellis, I must tell you at this webinar that you bring the natural feeling of being a part of on passive. You explain everything to our level. And um, I liked it uh, the other week, uh, I think it was Friday, the last corporate webinar when you said uh, you, will, you will be doing um, videos and putting them uh, through YouTube for those of us that wish to use them uh, in our organizations. Now that is something very, very helpful. Thank you, Mike Ellis. Um, I'll be one of those uh, people that will go in that direction. Thank you. Um, Want to you to in. You're the perfect host. You're the perfect um, uh, lady that 
takes control of everything during a webinar and your own input into on passive together with your good husband. We've enjoyed it. Many a times we just sit in the um, audience and observe, but truly we admire your courage, every one of you that has led on passive from day one up till now. I take my hat off to you on behalf of my family and my countrymen and women. Thank you so much. May God bless each and every one of you. Thank you for having me. Thank you, Mary. We appreciate your words of uh, appreciation and they are very heartfelt. Thank you, Mary. Right, we go on now to Dr. Dokum. Go ahead. Okay, uh, sorry, see again. <clears throat> I think you're in. We, <clears throat> I've had uh, the two ladies speaking, uh, Nancy and uh, Veronica, and now Mary. Um, I just want to give uh, Ralph a brief brief on uh, the health status, current health status in the country, PNG. Um, <clears throat> we are a population of 9 to 10 million people. Now, that's the estimate because we have not done, a, we know that the government was not able to do a sense which is supposed to do every 10 years. And since I think it's 2010, we've never had one. And now we're in 2022. So the rough estimate that we'd like to base on our 2.5 or 4 the sense of the, the population growth rate. We think we have about 9 to 10 million in the country with 22 provinces. Now, <clears throat> and in your situation, the, the indicators or the main things that we worry about, you know, especially in health businesses, maternal mortality and infant mortality rates, and how we, this country, addresses them. Depending on the success rate that we have, you know, it places your country at that particular level where you are as compared to others on the planet. So. We have been struggling. The country has been struggling very hard. And I can, I can feel it when uh, our ladies coming up like this strongly to ask about improve on their lives and all this in our health system. Our system has not been very, very successful in addressing most of it. Our maternal mortality rate is one of the second highest in the world and on the Western uh, Southwest Pacific. And it's around 554 uh, 554 pay 100,000 life beds. And uh, that's, not, that's not a good one. You know, we should, uh, for a country like PNG, with all the resources we should, we can, we can do that. But it, it, is, it is happening as we have with, uh, so many uh, donor partners and people coming in to assist us to try to address this. But we still have challenges like this because of the geography, the human resource, and also the, uh, the, the, Resources, yeah, resources and all these things are not, not coming up on to help the uh, health workers achieve those. Um, we have an HIV rate of 3.3% to 5.3. Now the hotspots are up in the highlands. Uh, we have a workforce in the government that's about 580 doctors for the 999 to 10 million people. Uh, the figure may be higher than that, but uh, it's, within the government we have around there, you know, it's less than 1,000 doctors. And this is, and also the nurses around seven or eight thousand. So we we have we have this kind of issues with us here. And our as our indicators how bad they are, you know, we we do our best to as and just do our best to address them. And also we get a lot of help from Australia. Uh, it was the Australian government and the people of Australia have been supporting us a lot of aid. Just through the past time that we've had COVID and but other, other issues coming up in the government of the other time. Also with New Zealand and the Americans and the, the and also the Commonwealth. So we, in the European Union, many other you know, partners that come up and to assist us. So we're still we're taking on, we're taking on. Um, 
what I was so passionate about Obles. Obles. And uh, I was sort of blown away when the first time I heard our CEO, our good CEO, as so far uh, talking about Obles, you know, and it just sort of blew me away. Blew me away because of the how we could access funds to help communities who have really need for health and maybe education and sort of infrastructures like this to help the people, you know, get those. And help our mothers and the children to get good, basic, affordable, and, you know, quality health care. And this was just my, you know, my passion. Uh, as a doctor, you know, in the wards, I do my rounds and with them. I only, we, save, we can save life, many lives if we have the best resources. And sometimes we don't have them. And many times we just look at their uh, you, you can't do much when you can do something. And um, this is one of the things that really bothered me because I did my training in Australia, Queensland. And we re when I returned to the country, the resources and the logistics that were used in the hospitals and the kind of things that they have, complete contrast to what my what I have in the country. It's just like nothing. So that's, that's sort of, uh, you know, we have to find ways to see how I can help my people and that. Uh, when, when I was introduced to Old Passive by David Bacow and his, uh, my two nurses, uh, I was I was convinced. I was convinced. It didn't take me a day or two, but it, it took me within a few hours to get, get to get involved with it, and I was so happy. I think there's I think a lot of thank you to um, uh, our CEO, Mr. Esmofara, and his lovely wife and his family. Or, you know, putting us in this. Um, I'm sure that this is this this is going to help us, and, and I think the main thing is to help us, especially our women and children in the country uh, who really need this. Uh, I thought I would just to come in and add this one up when I've uh, had, had my three leaders still talking. So take a lead for this. Thank you. Letting me in. Thank you. Thank you, Michael. Thank you, Michael, for the background. Michael is uh, one of the uh, senior doctors in the main hospital in the country, in Port Mosby. So thank you, Michael, for that uh, background and some, some of the statistics you've given here. But we know now that the Oblast is here. Thank you for on passive. Thank you, Ash Mufara. Thank you for the tech team. Thank you for everyone who's working behind the scenes. And we have a great company. And we are in the right place. We have the right leaders with us, right people with us. So we couldn't go wrong. We can't go wrong. Thank you. I'm satisfied. Thank you, Michael, for that. Lynn, back to you. Thank you very much. Yeah, it was very educational. The statistics are pretty sobering. But we do look forward to a change, a very positive change, when Unpassive comes into play. Because we, we all have a lot of hope for, for passive and what it's going to do for PNG. Next, we go on to Damarish Kuchi. You can unmute yourself. Damarish. Um, good night from Papua New Guinea, and good evening and good morning around the world. Can you guys hear me? we can all right okay my uh first of all i want to say my uh heartfelt gratitude to my personal sponsor which is my country leader himself david bakau and his um belated wife and his family and all the leaders around the globe the international leaders uh, Mati Digamo and Lynn, you are super woman that you never get tired. And yeah, everyone that I can mention you, all the names here, thank you very much for everything you guys do. And to our CEO himself with his family and uh, most of all, to the person that created us. And I'm sorry, can I speak in Pigeon? Um, since we have a doc 
since we have a doctor in the house, our country, our doctor in our country just spoke. Doctor, thank you straight law. It's a big law this time. Um, meeting, uh, I'm a master at looking you, law sampler, or statistic you give him inside law country, blow me plan now. Help blow me plan go so on him. Me or someone like Mary represent him or mama na young plan Mary inside law country, blow me plan. Big plan worry, blow me plan or Mary inside law country now. Um, me plan sa plenty or mama blow me plan or susa blow me plan or dive in his law cancer. So, since we plug at all blessed law, this la company where me plug join him. Now, two, me plug at all women too. And good plus straight or say me or Mary, you must boom one time. Now, walk one time or kind of doctor where all stop inside the company. Now, keep up in some blood, good blood thinking law. Uh, you me can put thinking one time now. If government will be done provide him, me plug can make him law. Seems some blood, good blood uh, cancer facility come inside. Because the last webinar, blah, me blah. He me looking one blah, Mary, one blah, got cancer law. Dubai, I'm been, all been celebrating cancer to well, cancer day law. Dubai two time, uh, one blah, Mary, law, Dubai, I'm been come now. Uh, talk, talk law, breast cancer. So me blah, law, Papua New Guinea, me blah, plant, tea, or Mary, or die, law, breast cancer, cervical cancer. So me, or say, one blah, Mary, and say, law, Papua New Guinea, no. Me sign up for this land and me put him request for me and tap for me for all Mary. Now said all doctors inside the country all joining this uh, uh, company. Thank you straight now behind um, leader for me or can translate for this law. Thank you and to to you, Lynn. Good night and God bless. Thank you, Damarish. That was lovely. So um, just a reminder that the Q and A, the question and answer session today. Is for the people of Papua New Guinea. So we appreciate that. So far, so good. Only PNG folks have been speaking, and that's the way we'd like it. This is a platform for, their, for the people of PNG. Just a, a gentle reminder. All right. Next, we go to Russell Rass. I assume uh, you're a PNG person because you've got your hands raised. You can go ahead and unmute. Uh, hello, thank you for letting me talk. Um, I'm from the USA and I kind of come here a little bit ashamed of myself, somewhat listening to these people in New Guinea, New Guinea, Papua New Guinea, and the and the love that they have in their hearts for their fellow man and uh, for their country. It it humbles me and I'm so, so thankful for this opportunity. To be at this webinar and to learn the type of people that we have in on passive. Thank you, Russell. Thank you for your um, sharing your thoughts. Again, we want to repeat that we're focusing on the PNG people. All right, Russell. Thank you for your understanding. We appreciate your um, your words, but we're going to focus on the PNG people. All right. We now we go on to Dr. Dokup. Go ahead and unmute. Uh, thank you, thank you. Uh, just so also, uh, thank you, Russell, for what you from US for thinking about us. Uh, thank you very much. God bless you, bro. Um, <clears throat> and uh, Damaris, uh, I I thank you for your comments. Uh, you talk about female cancers. Uh, in PNG, the biggest killer of women uh, rest in survival cancer. Um, one of the most uh, common cancers that we have is the oral cavity cancer. And that happens in both uh, male and female, but especially for the females, the breast cancer and cerebral cancer is one of the biggest killers. And in the males, it's least the prostate. Um, this is one of the main ones we have. Uh, in our country, we don't have a, a good diagnostic system in place. And so most of the, most of the cases arrive late at the hospital. And all you do is just give chemotherapy and give some palliative and all this, and, and most of them don't make it at all. Uh, those that we can operate, yes. In ENT, in my area, here in Central, I do operate in most oral cavity cancers. We cut, we take whatever cancer we can get out, you know, even without the diagnosis, because you can't, 
uh, the, we don't really have, have the diagnostic things like histology, services and all this running effectively in the country. Uh, if you're lucky, you get a biopsy results back in about three or four weeks, but normally we wait for a long time. And uh, by the time the cancer is grown to something else and uh, you know, it's difficult to operate. So this is one of those many issues that we have. And yes, uh, she's, she's pretty right in saying that, very right in saying that survival cancer and breast cancer uh, it's been the main concern for our mothers and our, our women in the you know in the country, and <clears throat> we have to work on this and help help, uh, help the government or help the department in establishing proper referral areas and also treatment areas. You know. uh, cancer treatment is quite expensive, as we all know. Uh, the drugs are very very expensive. Um, there's a normal, ordinary, average poverty in your family cannot afford even the second or third line. Uh, cycles of, of, of those, uh, you know, cancer, cancer treatment that we talk about. So it's, it's quite very difficult. Uh, um, for most of the patients, when you tell someone that it's got cancer, that's like, you know, there's no hope. When we, we've we been having difficulty with this area, so, and especially our mothers and our females who are having this, it's this one issue. And then the issue that's now affecting our country and actually is the lifestyle diseases are becoming very, very common. And things like diabetes, high blood pressure, cardiovascular uh, system, these sort of diseases have become very good because people have now moved away from eating the normal food produce from the gardens and coming to eat the cheap fast foods in town and all this and uh, no exercise and many of these things are causing a lot of lifestyle diseases. And of course, mental health issues are also one of the sort of rise. So these are the, these are the things that are affecting our country and all, all, all doing all this. So it's one that works in you know, also do clinical work and also try to advocate for some public health uh, activities like, uh, you know, doing the HIV, TB, and all these other awareness around the country. This is important because, because I see that, you know, for every every Papua New Guinean founder in our team in the country, well, if it's going to be 10,000 hours, this, this is a good number because uh, if you are spread out through all the countries or all the provinces, then uh, we can take it on board to, you know, address those issues in with, with all bless and with many other things to go. So and again, you know, many thanks to S uh, COS for, for this because uh, I see I see this as a as a bonus for, for us. It's a big bonus for us. And a um, lot of things need to be coming that way. So yes, we have to for ourselves in our country we have to sit down and talk about it. Uh, and bring it in so that uh, we can have this Important services available for our mothers and for our women in the country, so that they don't they don't miss out on you know those some of those um, infections that can save them and we can save them. Uh, this is one big problem that we have, and I, I thank the Maurice for bringing this up and laying that on the table like this. Uh, it is fact that we need to expose these things so that our partners in the you know, family in the world internationally can know and understand the situation that we face in here. Yeah. So. Uh, this, this is my take on this one. Thank you, Lynn. Thank you, Dr. Lokup. All right. Yeah. David, did you want to say something or shall we continue on, David? Uh, yeah, we coming up to the time, so we'll, we'll probably finish the last three hands that's up. The, we have Michaelis, uh, Nancy Manu, Josephine Landime, and uh, we can round it up. All right. Thank you, David. Go ahead, Mike Ellis. <clears throat> yeah, I, I, I want to talk uh, Papua New Guinea and, and on passive. That's why we're here. Uh, I, I listened to David earlier, and, and David talked about the, the farming community and, and uh, what's happening in that community. And, and farmers really have a place in my heart. I, I think they're the salt of the earth. And on passive, we are a global market. And as we come in as founders, I believe we can talk to these individuals, farmers, and give them a way to go from the bottom of the totem, totem pole where they get the least amount of money. I mean, bottom line, they get the least amount of money. And as the product moves up the line, it increases. Well, with OnPassive, they're going to be able to 
to go to the global market and get the best price for their product that they possibly can. And, and th that's such a big deal, lifting people out of, out of poverty and into wealth. This is something we can do. And, and, and it does a couple of things. Number one, it takes the farmers and it puts them on the top. Number two, each and every one of these individuals are going to come in and join on passive because they're going to use the tools of Unpassive to get the best price for their product and then market it to the global market. There are so many things we can do in on passive because of what Mr. Mufara has done to, to really enhance lives all around the nation. Even if they're not participating in with on passive, they're going to be in on passive so that they can get into the marketplace, they can get into the, the, the global market so that they can do the things they need to do to get the most money for their crops, which they deserve. We can just eliminate the middleman. That's kind of what on passive does. You eliminate the middleman and let, let the wealth come to, to the individual. And obviously, as a country, as a country's wealth increases, uh, all the problems that uh, Dr. Dr. Michael is talking about, <clears throat> all of those problems, all of a sudden they get to they, they, they they're solved because the, the company the country is building wealth all the time. And as you have a wealthier country, and, and this is just the way it works, it probably shouldn't be this way, but it is. When you have wealth, you take care of those problems and the people, their lives improve, their health improves, everything improves. So on passive is one of the it's, it's one of those unique things that most people don't think about. The farmer, what can we do for the farmer? There are so many things we can do to improve their situation and improve their wealth. And it is on passive. This is what we do. We change lives. So I wanted to come on and just say that very, very quickly. Probably took too long. But uh, when I listen to David, I listen about the farmers. My juices get, get flowing. And I start thinking about what can we do for them? There's a lot we can do. And eventually, they're going to do it for themselves. They're going to understand what on passive does. They're going to come in. They're going to take care of it. And they're going to start, they're going to start marketing to a global market. And all of a sudden, everything changes. So th that's it, Lynn, just, just very, very quickly. I love that. Great. It makes it very clear for all of us. Thank you so much. All right. Thank we now you, Mike. Go on to, yeah, thank you, Mike. We are going to have our two last speakers, and that'll be Josephine and Marty. Uh, Marty, do you need to go first? Raise your hand if you need if you're on time constraints. I'll call you. And then we also have Nancy Nancy Manu there. So, oh. all right, those sure. are all last three. Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah, I'm real quick. The first time in the history of mankind, usually when it when money comes in, it trickles down through filters, and by the time it gets to the bottom, man or woman, there's crumbs left, nothing left. On um, passive is so unique that it's going to rain from the ground up, and the money's going to be given to the people at the bottom. And if there's some left over, maybe the government can get a little bit too. That's all I wanted to say. Love it. I love it. Oof. So right. Raining from the ground up. What a great thing, to, a great example. Thank you. All right, now we, uh, oh, Nancy, I see Nancy there. Nancy, you wanna come on over to the panel, Nancy Manu? You can come over to the panel and if not, you can still speak without being on the panel. We have you, we have you with the talking permitted, but let's start with Josephine first. Go ahead, Josephine. Let's click the unmute button. Thank you, Lynn. Thank you very much. Um, uh, good night, good afternoon, good um, day, good morning, everyone. Um, I think uh, I have a question, but before that, I just want to say a big uh, gratitude to everyone. Uh, Lynn, you are always uh, smart in the way you talk. And you really cleared up everything when it comes to questioning and answering. Uh, Chris, Red Red Fan, and I just, a big thank you to Mike Ellis. I think uh, he's, in a way, he's a, he has a big heart for Papua New Guinea. You all have that, but I admire uh, Mike Ellis the most. Uh, as a, someone working out in uh, rural areas, 
thinking about people, how we earn, and this will be a great opportunity for everyone. I, um, my question is about, um, it's going to the pro team. Oh, I don't know, I don't know the reason why one of um, our founders, when we were going through the back office, that founder was still having OTP, uh, having OTP to go into the back office. I need, I think uh, I need clarification from that, from the protect team, and maybe some of you can answer too. Thank you very much, Lynn. Back to you. For your question, who wants to take that? I don't know, I can take it. Sure. Go ahead. Yeah, so um, I think it's really, it's really strange that you have OTP coming because I've not seen that. The only thing I know is when you reset your password, they will send you an OTP, one-time passcode, but to log in directly and receiving OTP, I don't think anyone, except Madi will say something about that because I know they have a lot of issues coming, but I don't think I've seen that or anyone have complained. So maybe Madi, Madi can take it or Mike Ellis or Red, they are here, but I've not seen that. It's only when you reset your password or send you one-time passcode because it's reset password, They've not removed that. And then when you reset, your, you reset the password, then you are done. You just log straight into the back office. I'll try to find out if it's reset password or login. Uh, you're, you're, oh. you're right on, Collins. Josephine, does that answer your question, Josephine? Yes. Josephine, Thank you very much. I will read it. Yes. Josephine, I'm. Um, uh, by you, long time this love when I met. By you, Salim Monplao, racing ticket go long support. Now, all by time, look, 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 look. Kiss him screenshot long slap problem. Now, nah, at that time, one time, little like story. Now, nah, Salim go long support, Lord Isla. So, was or in Ablo address him this love. Um, just explain him to us all, uh, how and this last situation of lock come up. All right. Thank I'm right done. Thank you. Thank yes, you. thank you. Thank you. All right, we got. Oh, is that it? I think that's it, David. Oh wait, we, wait, Josephine, are you trying to ask another question? You just raised your hand again. Oh, she's done. All right. I think we've covered all our questions from the um, attendees here today, David. I want to take it back to you to say some parting words. Yeah, yeah I, I want to um, just reassure our PNG founders. And uh, we, I just want to say some word of gratitude. Uh, I thank my leaders, Veronica, uh, Nancy, Mary, Daniel Sani. Uh, Moses Guntu, William, uh, Freddie down in Wewek, all, all the leaders in the provinces. We've come a long way. And thank you for standing. We didn't budge, as uh, Nancy said. We had a lot of criticism. When I first brought the business in, when Mati shared a link to me in 2019, we created a Facebook page and it's still there. And we started sharing. Um, Fred Lovaki, late Fred Lovaki came on and he just brought the people in. Veronica came in and that's it, it just took off. So this is a little bit of history for us, Papua New Guinea. Legal history, blah, you mean? How you may come now, you may start now come. Me talk, thank you. You plan to come all leader, blame me stop. You know, must talk, thank you, long haul. Uh, Mati stop, Mike stop. I was uh, kept informed. It took me seven months to pay the fees. Uh, even the link was given to me in February of 2019 by Mati, but it took me seven months to pay the fee. And I really appreciate Mati for keeping me in the loop. And Mike Ellis, you're the anchor. 
because of your videos. It just kept me informed. And my interest was just maintained there. And I never sort of uh, wandered off, even though we have a lot of issues here, you know, how we survive, but that those videos kept me there. It kept me there and I just had to find the money. So when we did that, and this is how it is. So when we came and I, I brought it in because I saw the vision that Ash put up in his initial video. And when I saw it, I said, Papua New Guinea will change because I was involved in a uh, MLM business. And, and I could draw the distinction between those two, the owners of these two business, that MLM business and Ash Mufara. And I saw in the heart of the man, those two men are great men. But Ash being Ash in the technology world and being a banker, and I knew that uh, we are trending into technology. I chose that business and I knew because of the crowdfunding platform. It didn't have Obless at that time, but I saw that crowdfunding and I knew a lot of our Papua New Guineans will get support there from that crowdfunding. And that's when I said, Mati, I need to be in that business. So it took me seven months to pay the fee, Mati. And when I did, I asked Mati, Mati, who else is sharing this business in Papua New Guinea? <laughs> Mati, you answered a question. Yeah. David said, how many, how many people in Papua New Guinea? And I go, well, after you sign up, one. <laughs> so that's how, that's what was said. Yeah, so that's it. And then we created the Facebook page. And uh, by that time, the Leverage Kings changed their names. The three Leverage Kings, uh, Mati Digamo, Mike Ellis, and Dan Street. They changed their names from Leverage Kings to On Passive Nation. As the founders were coming in and they were uh, growing inside the team, they changed the name to On Passive Nation. And I was watching it from February 2019 till September when I joined, pay the fees. So I said, come on, let's create a On Passive Nation Papua New Guinea. It's a beautiful name. So this is. This is how on Passive Nation PNG is birthed. And I think we were one of the first offshoot of uh, on Passive Nation. So it's a little bit of history. I just want to encourage us here. So at all our founders from uh, Papua New Guinea that you just joined recently, I just want to give that little history. And um, we came a long way. So we are here, Papua New Guinea. Uh, we we lost some of our great leaders, Freddie Lavaki and my dear wife, and some some of our leaders they they left, but they're in a good place we know, so they're encouraging us. In fact, I when we were I was preparing for this uh, webinar, I just had the presence of my late wife, so I just want to say thank you. Um, Thank you, everyone. Back to you, Lynn. David, thank you for the, that background of uh, uh, it's really interesting. And I, I'm looking forward to books being written about the Papua New Guinea story. I think it's a unique one. And I'm wondering who's going to be the author. And I hope that David, you, and Nancy might be one of those that produce a, a, a lovely book because there are going to be a lot of people who want to hear that story. It's very inspirational, very uplifting. Thank you. They'll, they'll, sell, they'll sell a million copies the first day, Lynn. Yeah, and it's all going to be founders instantly, boom, on day one, right? It's going to sell out all the books for the first run. I agree with you. All righty. Thank you very much to everyone for being here. We had a really good turnout today of over 200. That's a great turnout. Um, we appreciate the international community. I wanna make sure you all know that we do appreciate your presence. 
and that you understand why we ask that Papua New Guinea be able to speak. This platform is for them, right? Because we have lots of webinars that we can attend at any time, the international community has. But the PNG webinar is especially for the people. And we want to address their concerns and their questions, and we want to hear their comments. So thank you for your patience in that regard. Um, this webinar has been live streamed to 20 channels, so you can get the recording very easily. We do encourage you to share the recording because I think this webinar is exceptional. Today's webinar was very, very special. So we would like to bless people with the recording. So please be sure to go to any one of those 20 channels and share the link with everyone you know. I also would like to say that today, the OCHAT pros are gonna have their show and it's at Tuesday and Thursday, usually at 3 p.m. Today, we're gonna make it at 2 p.m. Eastern and I will be posting the link to the chat with the OTEC pros in the back office. You'll see it after this webinar ends. I just need to post it. So we hope that you'll come along. We'll have definitely Oliver will be there and we'll have Colin there and possibly Vincent as well. So we look forward to seeing you there. Also remember that the PNG webinar is every week at this time where it seems to be that 9 a.m. seems to be a pretty good time, 9 a.m. Eastern. So I think we're gonna stick with that time. Is that right, David? You like the time? Yes, and I, we get a good turnout, you know? So let's, let's make sure that we're here every Tuesday for the PNG people. Also remember there's a corporate webinar when? Thursday at 3 p.m. No, no, did they announce the time yet? No time announced yet? No, okay, time to be announced, but it is on Thursday, so keep your eyes peeled on the back office. There will be an announcement as to the exact time very soon. Thank you very much, everyone, for being here. We love the speakers today. We love all of you attendees because without you, we would not have this webinar at all. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take it to the um, gallery ask you all to unmute and say goodbye to one another. Thank you very much. Thank you, Lynn. Bye, everybody. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Bye. 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 Thank you to the um, chat guardians headed by John Barilla. I'm very sorry about that. John, go ahead and thank your people. I'm sorry, I just spaced out. Go ahead for it. Go ahead, John. You can unmute John. Speak a little bit. Thank your people. We'll say governments do much about it. Go for it, John. Oh, oh. Just thank Hi, you. folks. Thank your helpers. <laughs> Almost missed it there. So I just want to thank that. I always I love to come every week to Papua New Guinea's webinar. We love to support you. And that's what we're here for. And I want to thank the folks that uh, help guard our chats uh, in YouTube in particular. And those folks are MK Kaylee, Yin Yang444, Casey Zevenbergen, uh, Gina Leva. Uh, Mera Kino, Bruce Gerstein, uh, let's see, uh, uh, nah. Rob Gorman, Dave Rosalski, Willy Wonky, mm, let's see, we got um, uh, Dave Johnson, and I think that's who we had helping us today. I want to thank all those folks very much, and I really appreciate Papua New Guinea a lot. Thank you, folks. Thank you for that enthusiastic uh uh, speech just now. We appreciate it. And I want to also thank June and Myra for producing our Papua New Guinea beautiful backdrops and the promotional graphics as well. I don't want to ever forget them. Thank you. Now we'll go back to the gallery, back to our bye byes <laughs> Bye, everyone. Bye, bye. Thank Goodbye, you, everyone. <laughs> thank, thank you. you thank you. Thank you, John. <laughs> bye bye. Bye. Thank Bye. you, John. Bye, John Barilla. Bye, Marty. <laughs> Bye, Lynn. Bye, Bye, Bye Lynn. Bye, David. Bye, Hassan. Bye, 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 Bye
Bye bye. Thank you, Ogata. Like him, you're not in truth. Awesome. Like him, you too, Mr. Bakao. Good night. Bye. 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 Vero. Bye. 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 Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you for coming. Thank you for sharing. Thank you. 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 Thank you.